Hi everyone. Hey, this year we decided to use compost to heat our greenhouse. So we had a lot of yard waste after doing fall cleanup. So we decided to use those leaves and those trimmings from all the dead wood, uh, from all the perennials that we have around this property, and some horse manure that we received for free from a local company getting rid of it to create this compost pile that we ended up using to heat up this greenhouse. So this is winter 2017-2018. Um, the compost pile is done now, so this video is showing you how we built it and what the results were. So this greenhouse is a fairly small greenhouse. It's a little hoop house, approximately 14 feet by 20 feet. And in the middle of it, we dug a trench to fill with compost material. So in this greenhouse, we keep plants like figs, French lavender, orange, kumquat, and other things that would winter die if they didn't have protection. Um, and we start seedlings in here, kind of early spring. So here is the beginning of the trench that we dug. It's about two feet wide by 12 feet long by 18 inches deep. And that is a picture or a video of the trench once we've cleaned it out. We also built pallet walls on the side of this trench so that we could fill an additional 24 inches of depth with the compost material. And we lined the inside of the, that pallet wall with chicken wire. And you'll see that later on in the video. We used horse manure as our nitrogen source for the compost and all of the yard waste, the leaves, the clippings, all the dry um, carbon rich materials for our browns. So with compost you do greens and browns. Greens are the nitrogen rich materials um, and manures and then your browns are your carbon uh, rich materials such as you know leaves that have fallen during the fall. Now I'm not live living green leaves but yeah your, your dry you know dead material. If you're using manure to heat your pile as a nitrogen source, um, don't use too much of it. If, if you're getting ammonia coming off your pile and it's real strong, then you've, you've got too much of it and things are going to be real slow. So make sure you have plenty, plenty of carbon, probably 10 parts carbon to one part nitrogen. So 10 times as much of the dried stuff as, as the green, you know, fresh um, table scraps or fresh plant material, um, grass clippings, coffee grinds, things like that. You can always add nitrogen after you've started your compost pile. So use a lot more wood chips and other, you know, dried down carbon rich materials. And then you can add nitrogen later if the pile doesn't start to become hot and break down. Between each layer of these carbon and manure um, layers here, we wet things down. You want your compost pile to be moist, not saturated, but moist. So make sure you, uh, you have enough moisture in your pile. Here you can see the side pallet walls that we built with the chicken wire um, around the inside to keep the material in. And I also added a perforated corrugated pipe, oh, almost at ground level, so that the lower portions of this compost pile that lower 18 inches of material could receive some oxygen and compost, go through the compost process. The side walls, because they do have those open slats with the chicken wire, they allow oxygen to get into the pile as well. As long as you've got somewhat of a loose pile and you're not you know, stomping it down or compacting it, then you're going to be able to get oxygen into those layers and the bacteria and, and fungi um, will be able to do their job breaking down the material because oxygen is a requirement for these guys. So you don't want to suffocate them. So after building this pile and wetting it down and mixing it up, it took a few days to start to heat up. So it took about four days for it to reach temperatures of about 120 degrees. And You'll see that in this next little clip. But this compost bench, um, well, yeah, this, this table that is 
doubling as a compost pile slash plant bench. It's perfect for starting seedlings on because the heat that comes off the pile um, gives you nice bottom heat for your plants. We use this pile to just help mitigate those cold temperatures during the cold winter nights. This pile has kept the greenhouse 20 to 25 degrees warmer than the outside ambient temperature without any additional heat from the natural gas source or anything else. So here you see me looking at the thermometer. Like I said, this is a few days after we mixed and uh, finished our compost pile. And there it's reading about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So a few short days after that, um, the pile had gotten to 130 degrees Fahrenheit, and that is where it's been for the last two weeks. Uh, some piles will burn faster and hotter than that. Um, this mix that we did here was perfect for us because it's going to last longer. It's not going to heat up to the 140 to 160 degree range. Um, so it's going to take longer to compost, which is going to give us that 130 degree temperature for a longer period of time. So it worked out well for us. We, uh, we enjoyed the process and it's working. If you have any comments, please feel free to, uh, to leave them. Thanks for watching.